while they're back home yet? Well, apparently not. No, we have to wait for the fire officers to give the all clear. Okay, okay thanks. Oh, how's Peter? Well, he's come through the surgery, but the doctors say he's not out of the woods yet. Hey, come on, we need your smiles and wisecracks, not a face like a yard of gravy. Oh, Connor, it's all just so off. I know. It's what folk need, and it's what you're best at, so come on, eh? Right, everybody, there is toothpaste and soap in the box for those that need it. Which is mostly a judging by the smell in here. Oh. <laughs> Rosie, where'd you think Mum and Dad are? They're probably still at the hospital with her own. I suppose she didn't get home with Sean. What, and leave my airhead sister here on a roll? <laughs> He's just horrible, isn't it? I know. Right, I'm going to go and fill this up. Oh, thank you. Well, I know it's a crisis, but it certainly hasn't affected their appetite for free scram. <laughs> How can you be so flipping cheerful at a time like this? Why do you think we're always singing pack up your troubles and that? You know, during the war. The worst thing they are, the more important it is to put a smile on your face. You know, I saw some pretty awful things back then. Streets turned into bomb sites. Families torn apart. When it was all over and finished, well, I said to my dad, well, at least, you know, we won't ever have to see all that lot again, will we? More fool me. How's Claire? Um, yes, she's asleep at last. Yeah, she's holding the little lad so tight either side of her. What she must be going through, eh? Her and Tyrone. Right, that's the last of the milk. Oh, baby, can you go and see if Roy and Hayley have got any spare pints of milk? Mm. Yeah. Yes, of course I can. Dev was round earlier. Sunita's so OK, considering. I mean, she's a little bit shaken up after what happened, but... Um, all Dev could say was how you Save her life. Right. I think you are amazing. Not <laughs> now, they love folk patched. Peter seems to be recovering well after the surgery, but until we bring him off the ventilator, we won't know for certain. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so tired. Are you saying there's a chance he might pull through? I can't offer any promises. But there's hope. Your husband's obviously determined, Mrs. Barley. Yes. There's hope. It's a lovely name, Hope. Perfect choice. But she's so tiny. She's in the best place, love. It's a miracle no one was killed. Oh, no. Who? Let's just wait until you're feeling better, love. John, I want to know. Tell me. Molly didn't survive. That little Jack. This is terrible. Stop treating me like a child. These are my friends we're talking about. Who else? Ashley. He's dead too. This is. Oh, I can't take it all in. And Charlotte. She died in hospital. She's an old colleague of mine. Charlotte? What was she doing there? Was she coming to see you? No idea. Maybe she was on the tram. But we have hope. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Dad? Dad? What are you doing here? I uh, spent most of the night with Tyrone at the hospital. Where's Mum? Out of the door. Are you girls okay? We slept at the pub. <sighs> We've just seen Ashley and Molly's flowers. <sighs> what are you doing here? They said that no one could come home. Is there any news on anybody else? Rita. <sighs> she got trapped in the shop. We collapsed her. <sighs> Not Rita. <laughs> Mum, she's fine. She's all right. She's at the hospital. <sighs> I've got to get down there. I'll take you. No. You can stay here and look after the girls. We've plenty of milk, but we're running out of everything else. Must have been what rationing was like this during the war. Right old blitz spirit. I'm still struggling to take any of this in. 
Yeah, still, the way everybody's pulled together, it makes you proud. We're dragging the tram away, it's like a flaming war zone out there. Any news on Peter, Nick? He came through the surgery. Oh, fingers crossed, eh? Let's get back. Oh, OK. Hey, how's Sunita? Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. No, thanks to this lady, she is fine. Come here. Thank you. I can never repay you. I've got to get back. What a woman. The fire officers are saying that numbers one to seven can go back home. They've done their checks. Any news on Fizz? Very nearly with an L. She's okay, but the baby, she's in an incubator. We're all thinking about her. Give her our love, yeah? Yeah. And it must have been awful for you, trapped under all that wilbur, not knowing if you're going to get out or not. It was Ashley who saved us. He was badly injured, but even so, he never gave up. We wouldn't have got out without him. A real hero. You and all from what I've heard. I was terrified. Could have done with a proper hero like you. You would have known what to do. Hello, Rose Rose. How are you? I don't know how badly injured he was. Hello, son. Despite the horrors of last night, it, it is heartening to hear of all the acts of bravery and kindness. I've just spoken to Anna, and apparently the police have given the all clear for all the people who live at the far end of the streets to get back into their houses. Already? Did she say if our place was OK? Pretty much, yeah. I was sorry to hear about your friend Charlotte. Did, did you know her well? Not really. I don't want to talk ill of the dead, but to be honest, she was a bit of a nutter. Um, maybe I should pop home if we're allowed back. You've not got a thing with you. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, fetch me my pyjamas, eh? And some toiletry stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll go now. Sooner I get off, sooner I can get back. Hey. Hello, Sally. <laughs> me too. Wait, now, <laughs> come on. I'm fine. <laughs> Apart from this hospital nightdress, I feel like someone's out to Cranford. <laughs> oh, now, come on. <laughs> Apart from a few cuts and bruises, I'm fine. <laughs> it's not that. It's Molly. I know, love. I've heard about Ashley and Molly. You were there with her, weren't you? Right at the end. <laughs> I can't. It's what she said. What is it, Sally? She told me, with her dying breath, she told me. What, Sally? Kevin is Baby Jack's father. What? <laughs> it's true. Kevin admitted it. I just don't know what to do. Who's there? Oh. Hiya. When did you get back? I thought you were still in Glasgow. I'm just back. Into all this. What are you doing here? Didn't want you to dock as a day's pay, did I? How's it going out there? Been helping at the calf. So many folk homeless. Hmm. The fire officers are letting some people home now. Ours is up the rover's end. Have you lot got nowhere better to go either? You just seemed... right. Well, obviously we are not stitching knickers today. Not when there's folk that need help. Right, Julie. Here is uh, about 100 quid. Go and buy the biggest bunch of flowers you can find. Take them to Fizz in hospital. Tell her we're thinking of her. I'm on my way. Sean, get back over the Rovers. Help feed them that are still homeless. Is it you do the same with the calf? Actually, we've we've practically run out of everything over the pub. At the cafe and all. All right. In that case, Michelle, you and me. We'll go and match my cars at Fresh Girls. Make sure no one round here goes hungry. Well, I can't have anyone stealing my thunder as Mother Teresa of Coronation Street, can I? What about me? You should get back to Leanne. I think she needs you. 
imagine what she's been going through. Yeah, thanks, Carla. Really. Janice. You give us a call, eh? Let me know how he is. Yeah. You okay? Tough as old boots, me. Coming or what? Alright, you two. How's this? Yeah, she's getting stronger all the time. And the baby? Yeah, she's a fighter. I'm sure she'll be all right. Yeah. I just popped back to get some bits and pieces for Fizz. It's all right, we've already done it. Yeah, we've had to um, slippers, pyjamas, two pushing nights on the table. What are you? A couple of mind readers? No, just some chill, thoughtful teenagers, isn't it? Got a handbag to it. Cheers. Um, anybody want a brew? No, it's all right, we've already got one. Right, uh, I'd better get back. Oh, tell Fizz we'll be down in a bit. We're just waiting for the hot water so we can have a shower. Yeah, sure. I only finished with it because of my cancer. How do you think that makes me feel? I'm not sure what to sell. Oh, sorry, Rita. It's you in hospital and I'm going on oh, about... Oh, now, give over. It sounds like you've been through the mill far more than I have. Are you really okay? Because I couldn't Come on, stand now, it now, 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 don't get upset. I've said a few cuts and bruises, that's all. <laughs> Poor Tyrone, eh? So he knows the baby's not his, but not that Kevin is the father. So far. So far? Well, you're not going to tell him. How can I after everything he's been through? I do know that I don't want Kevin anywhere near me. I can't even stand to look at him. Sally, I, I can't tell you what to do, love. But you mustn't make any big decisions. Not after the kind of shock you've had. One crisis at a time, eh? How can I just pretend that nothing's happened? Give yourself time to think about things. That's all. Because... It, if you do anything rash now, when you're feeling the way you are, you might come to regret it. <laughs> you make yourself poorly. I'm so with you, it's dreadful. Do you, um, do you want me to go and check on the lads? Graham's with them. Mm. I can't. I just want to hold them and, and never let them go, yeah. but every time I do, I start crying and then they just want to know where their daddy is. Oh, come here, my lovey, come here. We're all with you, you know. Awful things happen in this life. Terrible things. I, I know you think you can't cope, love, but I promise, day by day and bit by bit, You'll get the strength of love to be with those lovely little boys. Hey. Listen, you do know that you can stay here as long as you want, right? Oh, no, I'd do without you. You've all been so wonderful. No, no. I think most of them have been allowed home now. Oh, what? I think she wants to give Max back. Well, what did I tell you? Either that or she just doesn't want to be lumbered with him. Mm. Uh, look, give us 20 minutes to sort things out in the bar, then we'll go and fetch him. No, no, um, I think I've got a better chance if I do this on my own. If she sees you, she's just going to see pound signs, babe. <laughs> well, she'll be seeing wrong. <sighs> I'll keep in touch with you. You do know that, don't you? Of course, yeah.
think this little boy wants his daddy. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. I just, just want to go home. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. But for this one to come through all this with barely a scratch, well, it's your little miracle baby. visiting Fizz. She wanted a hot chocolate, but I keep getting oxtail soup. How's Hobby? Well, I can't quite believe this, but it looks like there's a chance he might put it. Oh! Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm not getting my hopes up, but considering a few hours ago, we, we thought it... Oh, it's been a terrible night. Yeah. How's Fizz's baby? Oh, hope. Hope. Perfect. Well, she was so early, but they can do amazing things now these days, can't they? Oh, hi, Nick. Are you visiting Fizz? Uh, amongst others. Is he on the ward? It's you I came to see. Yeah, I guessed. I saw Ken before. He said there was a chance Peter was going to be okay. What? Are you disappointed? Come on, Leanne. You know me better than that. Yeah, I'm sorry. My, my head's just all over the place. I can imagine. I just wanted to be here for you. I've been so worried. We are. I think he's coming round. Him, hey, thank God you two are all right. Well, her needs okay. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, fine. She's pretty shaken, but she's... Yeah. You know, I've never felt luckier in my life. It's a bit difficult to feel grateful when... Uh, yeah. Still, all we can do is get behind Claire and Tyrone and do everything we can to help, and we're going to need it, right? Won't be enough, though, will it? Nothing will. Are you too homeless? Uh, we'll manage. You lost everything. Only the unimportant stuff. Come with me. No, Dev, Dev, we can't stop with you. Not hey. after what you and Sunita have been through. I don't do house guests, my sweet, but I do have the keys to a very swanky flight in Victoria Court that will suit a thrusting, up and coming, and above all, homeless couple down to the ground. Come on. Come on. If there's uh, anything me and Anna can do, mate, you know what we are. Yeah, well, at least the phones are back on here. One minute, Charlotte, where are you back? So, I don't want to hear a single word you have to say. Is it the baby? Is it the baby? It could be that, yeah. Get your filthy hands off me. Sally, please. Girls? I don't know what to do. Where is he? Well, he's off the ventilator, but he still hasn't come round. Dad? He's still very poorly, Simon. Dad? Wake up, wake up, Dad. Come on, Dad, wake up. Hello, son. I knew you'd be okay. I am Mrs. Barlow. I am Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, please let her pull through. If me and you can survive my man, this one can survive anything. I'm glad you're here. Where else would I be? What's happening? Check the airway. Just come out the way a bit, love. Let's give them some space, eh? Why? What's going on? Please! What's happening to my baby? Come on, please.
Colin? What are you doing here? And we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.